500 union healthcare workers at Providence Sacred Heart Medical Center will go on strike starting Monday. That means technicians who work side by side with surgeons and provide imaging, respiratory and psychiatric care won't be treating patients through the end of the month. Krem 2's Amanda Rowley joining us live in the studio with more now. Amanda. Providence technicians have given notice they will go on an unfair labor practice strike starting next week. The union says the strike is based on what it's calling Providence's unfair and unlawful labor practices during negotiations. The latest union technician contract with Providence Sacred Heart Medical Center is expired. The union says contract negotiations have been ongoing since November. During those negotiations, the union claims Providence imposed changes to schedules and working conditions outside the bargaining process, something the union says undermines workers' ability to negotiate and reach a fair contract. Providence workers are authorizing the second unfair labor practice strike in six months. What is going on with Providence? What is going on with Providence? Hundreds of technicians will walk the picket line outside Providence Sacred Heart every day until the end of the month. I love caring for people and I don't want to go on strike. We would all rather be with our patients, but at this point it seems like we have no other choice. The CEO of Providence says they were negotiating hours before the union voted to strike. Now, instead of continuing negotiations, Providence says it's focusing on preparations to still serve the community during the strike. The proposal we put forth is a market competitive proposal that will allow us to continue to recruit and retain the staff that we need. Providence says it's working with an agency to bring in temporary workers to provide care that's needed to get through the strike. I look forward to welcoming them back to provide the safe quality care that they do every day. But when the strike ends on April 30th, Providence says it intends to resume negotiations. When both parties return to the table, the union says it's asking for higher pay, which they believe will solve current staffing struggles with retention and recruitment. Amanda Rowley, Krem 2 News.